Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Michael Lofton Show on Reason and Theology. I'm sure I'll get a whole bunch of jokes about how I'm Bishop Barron, Bishop Barron funded uh, for this video. <laughs> but nonetheless, I appreciate what Bishop Barron has said here about the document, and it is posted on the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops website. And so very happy to see that. As you all know, there's been a flurry of statements from bishops and bishops' conferences uh, supporting the document of Pope Francis, and then showing that the media is getting it wrong, and even some Catholics are getting it wrong, and that the church's teaching hasn't changed. The blessings are not an approval of a disordered union, but rather they are a plea to live a holier life and be conformed to God's grace. And the object of the blessing isn't a union. It isn't the sin. It's the sinners. It is the persons. Okay, so let's take a look at what Bishop Barron has said here. It's not very long, kind of a short statement, but you know, short and sweet. And that's kind of what we need right now, because there is just so much out there, so much to take in. And uh, we do need something just kind of short and sweet. So again, Office of Public Relations on the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops website uh, from Bishop Barron. The document released this week by the Vatican on the pastoral meaning of blessings, uh, let's see here, uh, on blessings, insists that marriage is a union of one man and one woman and a in lifelong fidelity and openness to children, said Bishop Robert Barron. Following the publication of Fiducia Supplicans by the Vatican's Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, the chairman of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops Committee on Laity, Marriage, and Family life and youth address questions uh, that have emerged. So here's a, a direct quote from him. In, in my capacity as chairman of the USCCV Committee on Lady, Marriage, Family, Life, and Youth. That's a long one. Uh, I would like to respond to some of the questions and concerns that have emerged in the wake of the publication of the Vatican document. The statement in no way calls for a change in the church's teaching regarding marriage and sexuality. In fact, it goes to great lengths to insist that in accord with unchanging doctrine, marriage is a union of one man and one woman in lifelong fidelity and openness to marriage. There is no way that a liberal could read this document and be happy. Their ears must be on fire. Their eyes must be on fire for the reaffirmation of the church's teaching on, uh, on, on sex and also on marriage. He continues the blessing that, uh, that it, the blessing that it allows for those in irregular relationships or the blessing that allows for those in irregular relationships are not liturgical in nature and hence do not imply any approbation of such relationships. Rather, these benedictions are informal and spontaneous, designed to call upon God's mercy to heal, guide, and strengthen. Despite some misleading coverage in the press, boy, that is an understatement. Uh, some, <laughs> maybe like all of it, <laughs> all, <laughs> despite some misleading coverage in the press, the declaration does not constitute a step toward ratification of same sex marriage, nor a compromising of the church's teaching regarding those in irregular relationships. The Ducia Supplicans is very much congruent with Pope Francis's long-held conviction that those who do not live up to the full demand of the church's moral teaching are nevertheless loved and cherished by God and invited to accept the Lord's offer of forgiveness. So, well done. By Bishop Robert Barron, happy to see that and glad that the USCCB has posted that. And um, I certainly am grateful to Bishop Barron and uh, sure hope that we as faithful Catholics can continue to encourage him uh, for speaking up, defending the truth, uh, standing firm in defending the magisterium, and also keeping errors at bay, clarifying what the church's position is, dispelling people 
of their false conceptions that they have from the media and so on and so forth. Bishop Barron and many other bishops have been knocking it out of the park, doing really well. So I'm happy to see that. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to sneak this in there. Hey, hit that like button and the subscribe button. And of course, check me out, patreon.com forward slash reason and theology if you want to support reason and theology in this ministry. All right. See you later. God bless. Are you a Catholic thinking about converting to Eastern Orthodoxy? Or are you a Protestant discerning whether or not to become Catholic or Eastern Orthodox? If so, I have the book just for you. It's called Answering Orthodoxy and engages all of the arguments that Eastern Orthodox use against the Catholic Church. I respond to all of them. I show that they are in error and in fact, they're inconsistent because the things that Orthodox are objecting to are in fact found in their own tradition. So the fullness of the faith can only be found in the Catholic Church. Check out the book right now at shop.catholic.com for your copy today.